ಓಂ ತತ್ಸವಿಹರಿಣ್ಯಂ ಭರಗೋ ದೇವಸ್ಯೀಮಹಿ ದಿಯೋ ಯೋ ನಚೋದಯಾಂಧ Saram Saram everyone today we'll speak about uh, materialization so very famous miracle performed by so many times performed by our beloved Swami Sri Satya Sai and actually I have number of videos uh, um, and I'm yeah trying to analyze to to think about the meaning and um, the purpose of uh, this huge miracle and let me repeat again and again uh, that um, nobody can say that he or she knows everything about satisfy mission and satisfy philosophy that's just impossible we can guess and suppose uh, we can analyze contemplate uh, share with our experiences and opinions but the deep meaning of whatever action Uh, by the divine incarnation our beloved Swami Sri Satya Sai we can't understand it completely but we can suppose um, and of course uh, why I am speaking again and again about miracle of materialization because of your questions so many viewers send me many questions and some of them let us say um, from devotees and some even from the people who actually reject uh, such as I as divine incarnation but that's also okay that's that's also divine Lila because we can recognize such as I better to say should decide such as I and premise as divine incarnation we can recognize because his will his grace and if I can say that I'm side devotee and I spent uh, approximately 10 years in put party when such as I was there and I was such as I translation for the Russian speaking groups for number of years and I published three books with my memories that's not because I'm in any sense special but because that's his will his grace and it means if I recognize him as a divine incarnation it's not because I'm great but because he led me to recognize him so it means when I come across uh, questions and commands from different viewers readers of my books and some of that questions obviously from side devotees and some of that questions are obviously from people who are rejecting him and I'm absolutely open to all kinds of questions because I respect you people and if you have questions if you have opinions well let's discuss so first of all let me repeat again and again the main the major the greatest miracle of Satya Sai and Shirdi Sai and Prema Sai it's not you know materializations or even healing and of course not clear wind and of course not this and that but transformation of the heart actually according to my understanding triple Sai avatar came on this you know wonderful planet earth to transform human consciousness not to perform certain um, miracles like materializations or healing well let us be clear that we have so many healers in the west in the east christian hindu jewish muslim buddhist healers okay and some of them are quite powerful some of them are not but we have a lot of healers if you want to, to manage your health of course better to uh, contact a medical doctor medical practitioner and follow okay, procedure advices but who knows maybe you can just uh, visit um, any uh, clear wine person or healer who is using like prayers or any rituals I myself really believe that healing is a really wonderful tool and chance to manage one's health so nothing special that Satya Sai was healer 
of course he was able to heal such diseases such uh, diseases which no healer can heal okay the same materialization uh, okay I myself I don't know how to materialize few materializations actually already happened through me uh, at the moment maybe uh, a little bit less than 10 times different objects including coins including uh, rosaries yeah they materialized through me but I'm absolutely clear that I don't know how how it's happened because Swami our Satisai he did it through me and I don't know maybe it will happen tomorrow or maybe it will happen a thousand times in the future, maybe never. I don't care because um, I'm enjoying bliss, divine bliss, but not, not all that miracles. They may happen and they have their own certain meaning. Okay, um, in India and in some other countries, I know a number of yogis, saints, mystics who are able to materialize rings, japamalas, coins, small statues of the different gods. And that's also not something special about our Swami. Okay, then the question is, what is the really unique point of his mission? You know, even philosophy is not the one. Because we have so huge number of philosophers, just take 20th century or 19th century. In India, for example, okay, Sri Aurobindo, Swami Vivekananda. In Russian esoteric tradition, Madame Blavatsky, Nicholas Rory, George Gurdjieff, Peter Os Ospensky. We have huge number of philosophers, historically speaking, Hindu, Buddhist, Christian, just general mystical or esoteric philosophers. Yeah, we have uh, uh, almost 100 volumes of uh, Satya Sai discourses, like uh, Summer Showers in Brindavan, Dasara uh, discourses, uh, Satya Sai Speaks, Vahini books, so maybe 100 volumes, they're great, some of them are just amazing. Maybe I personally, of course, prefer some of them. But even philosophy is not the point. The point is grace, grace. Okay, let me say something, yeah? Well, I'm practicing Kriya Yoga meditation and Bija Mantra for years. And my meditation and mantra guru, whose name was, was Yogi Ramayak from Tamil Nadu, and uh, he passed away in 2006, in the age of 84, and he blessed me, he gave me permission to teach people Kriya Yoga meditation. And uh, people like me, actually hundreds, hundreds of meditation teachers and masters, hundreds of Kriya Yoga, Vipassana, Dzadzen meditation masters, I mean to say, if you wish to, to learn meditation, welcome, I can teach you. Maybe, I'm sure, there are masters who can do it much better than me. I know a lot of things about biblical and Vedic philosophy, a little bit about Buddhists as well. I know a huge number of Taoists, you know, Qigong, self-healing exercises, I can teach you one day, yeah, if you need. But grace is something which only divine incarnation may give you. Philosophy, techniques, mantras, meditations, predictions, healings, materializations, many, many, many yogis and saints, um, you know, can, can, can give it to you. But grace only divine incarnation. That's, that's the point. And grace is something which is really transformational. Only grace may transform. 
us on the individual level as well as society, as humanity, as humankind. And now we need it badly because of so many political and social instability, turmoils, difficult time, challenging time. And we need grace just to survive. And of course, mainly we need grace for enlightenment, for self-realization. You can, with your own effort, practice and practice. I don't believe that your effort may lead you somewhere. I mean, spiritually speaking. You can become clear mind or learn how to levitate, but to realize God, you need His grace. It can be achieved. It can be only given to you by God Himself. That's reason why. That's reason why the main purpose, according to my understanding, is grace. Main purpose why Triple Sai Avatar, Shirdi Sai, Sati Sai, Prema Sai came to us. It means, okay, in this video we are speaking about, well, materializations, rings, Rudraksha, Japamala, rosaries, whatever things, yeah? That's very famous uh, miracle, and it's all that objects, um, they have their own purpose. And sometimes through that, rings, rosaries, coins, such a sign, our Swami could transform people's um, uh, existence. Because imagine if you have any objects like from Swami himself, that's, that's great vibration, that's great gift. Of course you have to practice meditation and pray to God to transform your consciousness. Just materialized ring is not enough. But it can be a small, small step. Maybe to protect you, maybe to give some extra energy. It's always questionable, yeah, but I mean, what is, what is the purpose for such a side to materialize all the things? I mean, yeah, rings, rosaries, etc. I believe that's protection. I believe that's some extra energy maybe which you need for your life and uh, your spiritual practice. And um, that please do not misunderstand it and do not pay attention more than it is necessary to all that things. For example, now we have a wonderful small boy who is a Premasai. And the Premasai was born 2012, June 28, according perfectly according to the all predictions given by Satisai himself. And we know that um, when Satisai was um, something like approximately 20 plus yeah. years old, he told to the group of his devotees from wonderful ancient city of Mysore that he's going to be born in one year in the village of Dodomaluru. At that time the name was Maluru. Uh, behind ancient Aprami Swami temple, in a poor family, in a small house, and that's exactly happened. Sajasa left his physical body, he passed away in 2011, and exactly one year later, 2012, he reincarnated as a Prama Sai, exactly in Dodamaluru, Karnataka state, South India came, just behind ancient Vishnu temple, Aprameya Swami temple, in a very small house. What will happen with the Premasai mission? I have no idea. Now we have a bunch of predictions. Some, some say that Premasai will, will be a very extraordinary person with expensive cars, whatever, helicopters. Somebody is predicting that he's he going to keep silence, Mauna, 
and teach just in a silence. No lectures, no discourses. That's also we have a, as prediction. Some predict that uh, he's going to be a family person with the two children. Then the question is, who going to be his wife? Yeah. Now he is actually ten years old at this moment. Yeah. But um, somebody predicting that he's going to be alone, not married, sannyasi. So we have huge number of predictions, but only he himself knows. And also one more question, will he, Premisai, materialize also so many rings, rosaries and coins like such a sign? Maybe yes, maybe not. Actually, I met Premisai when he was three and a half years old, so it means I'm basically already kind of seven years with him. And I already saw a couple of outside miracles like materializations, etc. But I don't feel that this is going to be in any sense important. But I don't know, guys. I don't know. We shall see. But already now, you know, when he was 3, 5, 8, 10 years old, already now, he is very proactive in a space of mystical dreams. He is visiting huge number of devotees through the mystical dreams. And people receive amazing healings, spiritual transformation. When people come to his village, Karnataka state, South India, they just meditate next to this boy, who is just boy. You know, he's just, every day he's in school, he doesn't like whole world as most of the children on this planet. But his vibration are amazing and people experience many things in his immediate proximity. Yeah? He, he doesn't have any ashram at the moment because he's, he didn't claim himself. You know, it must be like when a little bit later he'll proclaim himself as the Premasai and then he will start his ashram. Now he, he lives with his family. But vibration are huge and people experience huge transformation in his presence. That's, that's, that's real miracle. That's real miracle. Saram guys. God bless all of us. Stay in peace. Always contemplate Lord God. Remember God always. And be happy. Sairam. Suhaham tat savitur harinyam bharago devasya nimahi diyo yonak prachodayandham